But the fact that we are going to be seeing Wario Greninja, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like this is going to be like a really explosive matchup. These are two like really heavy combo game advantage state characters. How far they can sort of push each other. I feel like one thing that's going to be really big for the magnitude going into this is your ability just to be able to go out there and edge guard uh, Wario. Definitely, definitely. Once you get used to some of the intricacies of the Wario recovery, it's pretty easy to kind of see where they're going to go, interrupt and intercept, but. We're also going to see a lot of combos from Greninja. I think mm -hmm. Wario's not going to be able to play the game until probably like 60-70%. Really good command grab from BDB. That's going to be now them holding onto the stage. Late hit neutral gets a couple of up airs and a back kill just to be able to close it off. I like the up kill there as just a means to extend, but a little bit too late on the draw. Yeah, and good response from Magnitude putting the nice little up airs together. Putting the pressure on, but the command grab's so good. I like how Magnetune is waiting a lot before you're like committing to like down tilt and dash attacks. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of Green Engine play is just about that tempo change of preemptive versus reactive options. But now it's time to maybe like start swinging a little bit sooner. Right. Um, as BD Bean is like immediately like committing uh, to landing options and what an F tilt uh, to be able to take it out. Yeah, just putting the pressure on with the presence and then landing with the uh, air dodge. Not always great, but answering right back, Magnetune putting the pressure on, trying to hold down the middle of the stage on the second stock. Ooh. When, okay. You know, whenever you see BDB just go for a falling up here in place, you are up to no good behavior. Exactly. You know for the fact that he has some sort of a huge punish just sitting there waiting. He's going to deal like 80%, maybe even kill you. So you, you can't get hit by that. Thankfully, though, Magnitude is not taking too much damage on this second stock. Mm -hmm. BDB having a little bit of trouble, but oh, the bike always messes people up. It's so hard to interact with. Oh. Oh my goodness, the up tilt. Could have been it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Greninja just sticking his foot right back where it came from. And while you're not finding that up tilt as it goes up, and now BDB needs to find a way to be able to make it back. I like the double jump stall there just to wait out and throw off Magnitude's timings. But now this is the real challenge of Greninja. How do you get the stocks? Up tilt, double jump up, why not? Yeah, and honestly, BDB coming down with the down air, usually pretty safe. It just didn't work out in that one interaction. But now we got the waft and the command grab once again. A lot of people just don't know how to react when Wario comes down with the command grab. It's very tough. Mm -hmm. I'll see you, Bike. All oh, right. has the good idea with the down tilt, but just did not know which side uh, BDB was going to be finding themselves on. That neutral hit the top of the shield maybe a little bit too soon uh, on the timing, and as a result, got a grab, got all this damage, has the stage control, nice. and wow, is that it? No, it's a lot better than the last game, but still not good enough. Down air, going to stall for a little bit. This one should be it. Oh, so close. A little bit stale. Yeah. It doesn't always like necessarily scale oh. knock back, but... It's high percent. You run out of your legend vulnerability at some point. You can't even roll in. What do you do? Honestly, it was really good timing, too, from BDB. And almost perfect. All right. But this is still rough percent. Obviously, WAP is something to worry about. Up, up, yeah. up. Oh, my goodness. Yup. One more. Oh. So, oh, my goodness. That whole situation was so tense. All for it to lead into nothing. There it is. There it is. So Great scary stuff. too. When yeah. I like BDB and like jumps on you like that, like it's like, hey, if I don't hold my shield now, I am going to die because what if he goes for like a neutral? What if he goes for an up tilt? But then he just empty jumps at you, and you keep thinking to yourself, wait, I don't want to lock myself into my defensive option. Right. I right. don't want to lock myself into shield, so I'm going to drop this. I'm going to try to jump. I'm going to try and punish you, and then bam, falling up into uh, waft. It's also one of the good designs, which uh, Wario has very few of. Oh. One of the good designs is you have that the match long conditioning of landing with the command grab, right? So it's mm -hmm. like, okay, so shield is bad, I should do something. Then later on you get to land with the aerial into the waft. Yep. After you taught them that shielding wasn't good against the command grab. It's, it's pretty interesting. Yep, BD Beans just like mix ups and like his conditioning and punishing were really, really solid as always. Like he alternates like what option covers what in what position. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so really, I just need to see like magnitude. I'm trying to think about what they could be doing like a little bit better. It seems like BD Bean is taking so much, each hit so much further than right. Magnitude is for each neutral interaction. It was pretty close, all things considered, though. I mean, Magnitude was keeping it uh, mm -hmm. within a stock, just in percent difference. So just some small adjustments, maybe tightening up the defense a little bit, and we can see a very different game, maybe even game three. I like Ooh. how BDB is also mixing up his fall speed, sometimes fast falling, sometimes not. And as a result, Magnitude is struggling a little bit to find uh, some of these dash attacks. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. love that. I haven't seen that one in a long time. Down tilt dash attack and then take the first stock and that does not look as close as I was trying to sell it earlier, but... It's looking a little tough. It's looking a little spicy, but that's okay. And what a timing mix-up to go through down air as opposed to a falling neutral or up air, which be this is the first time that BDB did down air like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. We've only seen it like once to edge guard and then once uh, as a landing option. So BDB still finding ways to be creative in the match. 
thing. It's, so it's like a big Greninja meme that, like, you know, shielding bad. But we're actually, like, seeing a lot of that come into play for the Magneton because BDB is so good at getting away with swinging mm -hmm. uh, on Magneton shield Fu Fui. And Magneton, nine times out of ten, is getting hit again rather than finding their own punish out of shield. Oh, okay. That neutral air is pretty interesting to get around that forward air. But now Magnitude with the stage control. See if we can get this stock. Kind of need it right now. Oh, okay. That back here is going to be so huge. I don't think Bike is going to be on deck quite yet. Does not find the two frame, but a beautiful pivot grab. F3 for a bit of stage control. All right. Bike is there, but oh my goodness, what a route. That air dodge is so risky too, but well timed. Forces the air dodge out, but doesn't follow all the way. But it doesn't matter because Magneton is still going to be able to find the edge guard. Getting a pretty clean stock, all things considered. Um, this is still really doable because, you know, good ninja combo game is still nothing to sneeze at. Mm -hmm. So we'll see here. It's kind of tough, though, when you're at this percent. Obviously, you know, the down tilt dash attack. I didn't even get to finish the point. Yeah, the idea. You go on to it. <laughs> but then but then BDB just finished it up for you. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit difficult because it's such a safe move. You got you force into like a preemptive defensive option. If you go out if, or if you spot dodge, dash attack will still hit. Exactly. Okay. Oh, this is so tough to be in uh, this situation with the bike too, although shield pressure is insane. Great movement with the command grab too. Bikes mm -hmm. coming through and we have the waft of course, but Okay, caught the jump. All right, Magneton just being really, really patient, but again, maybe not committing to any preemptive options, which is like kind of coming back to bite them just a little tiny bit. Oh. Tries to go for the up bike. I don't know what the name of it is, but... <laughs> I think it's a wheelie. But a wheelie, yeah. We even saw like the stall with the bike looking animation didn't work quite as BDB planned, but it's still pretty close. Mm -hmm. The waft is no longer on the table, at least for not another minute. We'll see. And yeah, Magnetune just not recognizing the situation. And what a clank. So unfortunate the hitbox is interacting. And BDB getting the jump lead and just able to close out that game in a pretty convincing fashion as well. I feel like BDB in this entire game was just able to swing. And they were rewarded for swinging. Uh, a lot of, like, I feel like a really big thing about playing Goo Ninja is using shield as a complete last resort mm -hmm. rather than it being a traditional defensive option because Goo Ninja has so much mobility, so much hurtbox shifting that you can use towards your advantage mm -hmm. uh, to sort of space around and then whiff punish the opponent. Right. Especially Wario, Goo Ninja is all about dash back punishes. But what we really mostly saw for Magnetune was locking themselves into shield, uh, which I feel like kind of came back to bite them a little bit. Yeah, and I think, like, Greninja has a lot of options in that situation, too. Like, even something, like, from left field, like, counter. Because yep. BD Bean, for the most part, we saw a handful of command grabs, but it was a lot of just landing aerials that could have been punished a yep. little bit better. But not, you know, there's still plenty of bracket for our man Magnitude. We'll yeah, see how it goes.